This is different. There are protests in China, but not like this. If they happen, they're local, maybe a demonstration over pensions at a plant or pollution. These protests are national. We have a sense now that people have the same grievance against the regime, and that's new. Fatigue over China's drastic zero COVID policy turned first to frustration and now to anger. Where most of the world has moved on from lockdowns, they're still as rigid as ever for the Chinese. One person contracts COVID in an apartment, the whole building can be confined. The nightmare stories have been growing for months, from suicides to deaths in a bus that overturned carrying people to quarantine. Yeah. The latest story is a fire last week. Ten people were killed and the lockdown is being blamed. The reports people couldn't get out quickly enough because they were confined. And reports firefighters were delayed by lockdown fencing. It's hard to know if either is true, but people identify with the victims. The fire that happened in Olomchi, in the westernmost part of the country, is resonated with people who live in Shanghai at the other end. The Chinese government Monday called the reports about the fire disinformation, smears spread on social media. Now, traditional media in China is tightly controlled. There are no mentions of the protests. But word has gotten out on social media. Posts are deleted by the government if they're about the protests, but that takes time. If they're up even for minutes, they can be seen. Proof that has happened is in a symbol that's been spread. Blank sheets of paper now represent defiance in cities across the country and with Chinese artists outside the country. Some analysts say the government can't let this go on for long. Oh, it's highly dangerous. I think we haven't really seen uh, the repressive apparatus fully engaged at this point, but unfortunately, I, I think that is what we're going to observe in the days and weeks to come. COVID rules may be the biggest part of what's going on, but there are also some openly criticizing the Communist Party and leader Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping! Now, the government could let some of the pressure out by relaxing COVID rules, but China has an aging population, low vaccination rates, and a less effective domestic vaccine. Opening up would mean other problems. Mike Armstrong, Global News.